guys, welcome back. It's Shelby and today we are making seashell candles. So I recently went on a trip to California to visit some family and friends and ended up at the Santa Cruz mystery spot, which was so cool. But in the gift shop, they kind of randomly had all these beach seashell vibe type items, which I get that at Santa Cruz, but we were like literally in the mountains surrounded by redwood trees, but I thought they were really cool. But I also didn't want to pay $10 and cart the back of my suitcase. So I'm decided to make my own. I don't know if you guys caught a long time ago, like back when I started YouTube, I did like a gilded seashell video where I spray painted seashells, uh, silver and gold. So I still have those. I keep them in a vase usually, but I've taken a couple of them. And I think I have like, well, I have six of them out here, but I'm only going to use four. And I'm going to turn those into candles today. I thought that'd be cool. So I've got a couple things to help me out. I have my candle making kit in case... I need additional wax or longer wicks or anything like that, but I also have tea lights and the idea is to pull the actual candle out of the tea light holder and then to put it into a seashell. I'm going to carve away the extra wax with a knife and then just like melt some extra wax in around it so that it's nice and flat and pretty and then I have like a candle in a seashell. The same for this, although this one's pretty deep and when I put the candle in it, it goes way far down there. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna just fill it all the way with wax and then just have the tea light just kind of at the top little layer, then it won't burn very much. Or if I wanna try and get a wick all the way down there. I haven't decided yet. I will very likely just fill it with wax and then like situate a carved tea light on top so it just sits kind of like this. So it's nice and flat um, because it's too big for the opening right now. But uh, yeah, these burn pretty well and for pretty long. So I will probably just do that. But I thought it was a cool craft and I thought you guys, um, may be interested in it. So I'm going to film it and uh, bring you along for the ride. I'll link everything you need down in the description below along with my socials. And let's get going. So these are my seashells. They're super pretty. Um, some of them are gilded, some are not. And then I have my candles, which should be really easy to take out of the metal cases because they're just kind of loosely stuck in there usually. Um, and the little I think they're aluminum. The cases are like super flimsy, so you should be able just to pull them out just like that. As I say that, you know, they're giving me trouble, but that's how it is. You don't need these. Go ahead and discard them. And then basically what I'm going to do is just cut them to fit. Like that's all I really need to do. Um, so see how it fits at a diagonal. I don't want that. So I'm going to get a little container to catch the wax. And then I'm just going to shave off kind of what I think it's going to need to be. So this is basically one of them right there. So the wax sits nice and flat. You can see the candle comes up and you can see when it sits down, it's gonna burn really nicely. So basically what I need to do is just melt some extra wax around it. So what I'm gonna do is carve the other candles and then we will get to melting the extra wax. There we go, that's perfect. So. Another great benefit of doing it this way is that I don't have to deal with making the wicks centered and stuck in there and straight with the little dowel. My little tea light is going to do that for me. There we go. That looks about good. So the thing with these is once I press them down there, they're kind of going to be stuck. I mean, I could pry it out with the knife down here, but I don't really want to. So this looks pretty good. I'm not going to stick it in there yet, but this one goes with the shell, so that's perfect. And then the last one. There we go. Okay, so the wax has been cut and put into the seashells. I do have a candle making kit, um, so I have like extra wax to melt. But if you don't, you can just use old candles that are like burned up. You can use more tea lights. These tea lights do tend to just, the wax basically melts away and disappears, so that might be trickier. 
But if you got like an old candle that's kind of burned down, just like carve off some of that wax and melt it up. Buy a candle making kit, um, really anything. Like I said, actually, and the more I think about it, the more I'm totally gonna fill these with hot glue, just to like there, um, just give it something, something to sit on. Um, definitely do that. I do need hot glue anyway, because that's how I'm going to fix this, because right now, if it's flat, it tilts over and I need it to go like that because it's fire, you want it to go upright. So I'm just gonna put a little like dot of hot glue there so that it'll sit flat and not do this. So I need to get my hot glue gun out anyway. So yeah, I'll probably just put those on the big shells anyway. But until then, we are melting the wax and getting that going and getting the hot glue gun going and continuing. And um, I can already tell these are gonna be great. I'm super excited for it. Okay, so my hot glue gun is heated up. I'm gonna start with these flatter shells and basically what I need to do is just eliminate the curve a little bit right here. So I'm just gonna like put a little dollop. The reason I'm choosing hot glue is it's basically invisible. I mean, not really, but it's translucent. Um, so I just wanna create like a little stand for them to even out on and not completely roll up the incline. Um, so I'm just gonna wait for that to dry a little bit. And then we'll test it out. We'll do the other one, see if it needs to be a little bit bigger or not, but it's really just like a little drop of hot glue. That's all it is. Um, let it dry and we'll make sure it's flat, but let me get started on the other one because it does take a second to dry. No, I just put my finger in it. Hold up, I just completely destroyed it. Okay, take two because I completely got rid of the dollop. So we're just gonna do that little kickstand. There we go. This one's better than the first drop anyway. It doesn't even matter, look at that. Perfect, looks great. So I'm just gonna turn it upside down. Same thing with the other shell. It was actually easier to take the candle out, so I'm just gonna pop it out backwards. Keep each candle with each shell because they were individually carved. And then just a little kickstand right in the back, just like that. A little round, translucent nub, that's all we need. This one's actually a bigger shell, so I'm gonna do two of them and make it like a little tripod. Um, so the big curve of the shell would be one spoke and then two little dollops, but that's just because of the width of the shell. I'm worried about it not working if I just do one. So we're gonna do two. So customize it based on shell, but gonna let that dry, see what we're left with. In the meantime, I'm going to start pumping hot glue into my big shell and basically just creating a lattice work. I don't necessarily want to fill the entire thing with hot glue because that's a giant basin and that's a huge waste. Like, hot glue is kind of pricey, honestly, and I don't want to just fill it with a massive thing of plastic. So what I'm going to do is, unfortunately it's translucent, you can't see it. I'm just building a little wall around the shell here and I'm going to wait for the glue to dry and just fill it in and create an artificial floor right here, like an artificial layer of hot glue. And so this part will all remain hollow. It's just gonna be something for the tea light to stand on. So I just put a little ring of glue right along the edge of the shell there. I don't know what this is. Get rid of that. And I'm just going to wait for it to dry and then build another layer in and in and in, create that nice, nice flat shell. But this is drying, so I will grab my other shell and we will do that. Okay, so it's hard to tell because it's clear, but that is actually completely sealed. So yeah, I can kind of catch the reflection off of it, um, but it's completely sealed. So basically I'm gonna let this dry a little bit, then just add another layer um, just to make sure that it's set because you know, candle wax gets hot and I don't want it melting right through. But this whole chamber down here, completely hollow. So also what I wanna do is these also sit on a curve. You can't tell on my hand, but you see how it's rolling over? I want it to sit like that. So these also get a tripod. Um, I actually like the two dots. I'm gonna, gonna roll with the two dot situation. So just one, two, one of them might need to be a little bit bigger than the other. Again, customize it to your shell, make sure it can stay flat. But I'm just gonna put two little dots there and let them dry and then adjust it from there. And that way, hopefully the shell will sit like this and not like this. Okay, so all of the glue dots are dried, all of the glue barrier walls, for lack of a better word, are dry. So I'm gonna show you how they work. So I just switched out for the two little dots. Now the shell just sits flat and you can put the little candle in there and I mean it's a little wobbly because this thing's moving, but if you just like put it somewhere, it's gonna stay flat. It stays flat like that, so it's perfect. So we decided so we're gonna melt our wax and get these candles being candles. So I have my seashells set out, they're all balanced, and um, I'm gonna get the hot wax and pour it in basically.
okay, so maybe I spilled all over the place, but whatever. We're gonna let that dry and see how it turns out. There you go, that one looks pretty good. There we go. I'm going to clean up the counter because that looks a total mess. And um, then we will let these dry and do some close ups. All right, the seashells are all done and all dry. And honestly, I love them, I think they're great. Um, so this is one of the big ones. This is another one of the large ones. You can see like the wax just kind of, I don't know why my camera won't focus on this. Maybe it's because the wax is white and I have a white background and a ring light on, but I don't know. You guys know I struggle with lighting issues. I'll do some close-ups up at the end, but uh, these are really cool. So I also have these flat ones which honestly are easier to do and I like them a lot. Like they're, they're really pretty. And then I just have like shells that I'm gonna put out next to them. So like some will be lit up and some are just seashells. If I was doing this for a gift, I would do it slightly differently. I'm doing it for my own personal use. So that is why I cheated and used the tea lights. I don't know if you can tell on camera, honestly, like, let me pull that down. Can you tell? Like you can tell the wax from the tea light, it's different. Um, so I'm gonna put this back on the face if I can get it there. There we go, boom. So I made a choice basically for personal use. I was like, do I want to waste all of my giant wicks from a candle making kit, trim them super short, put them in the putty, deal with the dowels, try to keep them straight to pour in one melted wax, hold it there while it's drying so it's nice and straight and have one uniform thing of wax or do I want to cheat and use tea lights and stick them in there and just pour some wax in order to hold it in place? That's what I chose, honestly. For personal use, it's fine. Because as soon as I light this, all the wax is going to melt together and it's going to look perfectly uniform. So for personal use, totally fine. If I was making this for a gift, I would actually go through the steps and like pour it and hold it and make it look as professional as possible, even though it's homemade. You don't necessarily want it to look homemade. Like the best homemade gifts kind of look professional and don't look homemade, but then like the added bonus that they are homemade and you put like time and effort and love into them, that's the best. Sometimes they do look homemade and you know what? The recipient just has to roll with it. But if I was doing it for a gift, I would use the whole candle making kit. I would not cheat and use a tea light. But for me, that's totally fine. Like I'm glad I did it. I'd do it again. Um, another thing I would do if it was for a gift, I wouldn't use these tiny little shells. I already have these shells on hand. I like them. They're already like gold and gilded. I had them in a vase. I have them lying around. Like why not use what you've got? If I was doing it for a gift, I would buy the much larger shells, like the giant ones. Um, you know, for a shell like this, I would get the big conch shells because then you can make a giant candle. You wouldn't even need to trim the wick. It could be a nice big wick sticking in the giant candle and it would burn for a while. There's nothing wrong with tea lights. Tea lights are great but they burn out, they, you only get a couple hours of tea light. So these are great for like an evening. Um, if you blow them out pretty quick, you can light them two or three times, but they're not gonna last you hours and hours and hours. So if you want to make it for a gift and you want it something that the person can enjoy again and again, you gotta use a big shell, you gotta use the big wick, uniform wax, and then they're going to get hours of candle enjoyment out of it. So that would be my tip if you are making them as gifts, but personally, like save yourself the hassle, cheat once you light it, you won't be able to tell. I will light these up and um, just like pop a few 
moments of footage on there from the camera so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, I hope you liked them. I hope you liked the craft. Let me know down in the comments if you did. Hit that thumbs up if you would. It helps me out and I appreciate it. I also know that you like the video. So thank you so much for watching and um, joining me today on this little craft. And I will see you again here soon. Bye for now. Zooming in on the candles. You know what? I think my ring light on my tripod might have been the issue because you can see a lot more definition now that I'm just holding it by hands. But you can see they're super cute. They turned out really well. And um, yeah, no regrets at all. So I guess I will uh, light them up and, or at least one of them. I don't really want to waste all of them. Like the whole point was to put shells around and enjoy it. But I will light at least one of them so you can see how it goes. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. All right, we're gonna light one up. Here we go. Look at how cute that is. Little seashell light, adorable. Let's move the other ones out of the way. Look at that, it's so cute and so pretty. I don't usually light candles during the day because you can't really enjoy them, but love this, love this so much.